Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm gonna do something that I have not ever done before. Um, and um, yeah, La lacking a whole lot to do in FFBE since I couldn't get in for a while, um, I thought I would try this uh, and see. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna look over all the NeoVisions base units that I don't have, um, and I'm gonna kind of rank them in terms of like, if I got one randomly, like how excited would I be about it? Because there's, you know, there's a handful of units that you can see here that I don't have. Um, and um, I just thought it would be cool to like look at like, you know, if I got them randomly, like what, how, how how much would I enjoy them? So um, let me give you a quick breakdown of what we're gonna be doing. Um, these are only gonna be units that I can get right now off of like regular tickets or EX tickets or something like that. So it's not gonna include any collab units because um, a lot of the ones that I don't have happen to be collab units. Um, so we're just going to focus on the ones that I can get all the time. Um, and we're going to put them into, you know, one of five different categories. Um, the top category is S. Those, these are ones that I definitely, like, still want, like, actively want to um, to do something with currently. Um, and, uh, you know, would, would love to have for the future um, for actual use. Um, units in the A category are units that I want, um, but I'm not, like, bending over backwards for um, they, they, they would fill some need. I would definitely have use for them. Um, I think they're generally useful or, or you know, kind of good. But, um, you know, I'm not going crazy for, for like, the fact that I don't have them. Um, category B is going to be units that um, I, I, I would be happy if I got, um, but largely would probably be better off with a unit that's going to be in either S or A tier. Um, but maybe they serve some other purpose, like um, like a really niche utility that, I, that I'm kind of looking for, or have really good TMR or STMR, um, or I just kind of like dig the unit, like like the character, you know, but like not really uh, wanting to, to use all the time. Um, category C units are units that like, if I get them, I'm gonna go, oh great, at least they're new. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably not gonna use for anything. Um, Except for like extremely rare circumstances, like there are probably other units that I either already have or you know they're they're in better better categories. But you know at, at, at least they're new, right? And then category D, these are the ones that I would say honestly, like please game, you can have these back. Like I don't care. Um, very rarely would ever use them unless I had to for some piece of series lock content or something, um, and just largely do not want them. So. We're gonna kind of start uh, our list here and you can see my mouse. We're gonna kind of drag them into position and I'll talk a little bit about each one and why I'm putting them where I want them. Um, and we're gonna go alphabetically. Um, so we're actually gonna start um, with Arcane Scholar here, uh, this first one here, and we're gonna put him in the um, A category. Um, so the reason is, um, you know, despite the, the recent rant video that I had where I talked about me being really frustrated and kind of like um, over, over Clash of Wills the way it's been lately, he has a Clash of Wills unit, and he does fields, which are really good. Um, even if his are kind of like annoying to use, um, he does have them. Um, and he does morale-based fire damage. Um, and he could go, go well with some other leaders that we, we're gonna talk about in just a minute. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he's not someone that I'm bending over backwards trying to get, but I mean, if uh, he has Clash of Wills themed and focused and oriented, um, and that's kind of where I spend most of my uh, enjoyment of the game. So uh, yeah, he's gonna be an A for now. Um, and we'll move on. Um, next is Avalanche Barrett, um, and he's gonna be our very first D for dumpster tier unit. Um, I just, we have better options, and uh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> you know, enjoy. Um, we're gonna move right on to um, Blood Dancer Elisparis, um, and Blood Dancer Elisparis is a, um, is a contentious unit. Um, she's about to get upgrades. We don't know what those upgrades are, um, and she's a Clash of Wills unit, and she does fields, and she does support, uh, really big imperils, really good breaks most of the time. Um, and we're going to put her in S. You know, um, she's something that I definitely want, even though I have not been able to nab yet. Um, and um, I'm very hopeful for getting one in the future. There you go. Um, Challenger of Fate Hope. Um, he's going to be our first B tier unit. Um, he, you know, damage is pretty bad. Um, support is pretty bad. But he does do, like, some, some niche utility with fields and stuff like that. Um, he would go well with my lightning, even though we don't have the right elements. Um, there you go. He could go on the right, the team at least, right? Um, there you have it. Um, Cursebringer Nelica. Um, Cursebringer Nelica is brand new, um, and I haven't even had a chance to try and pull for her yet. Does good dark damage. 
and does fields. So um, I feel like I've kind of got a lot of things going for me for Dark except for Elisparis. But if I got her, I would be pretty pleased to have her. And uh, I'm going to put her in A. Um, and they're not, by the way, since now that we're starting to get units more than one in, in a category, they're not um, in any specific order unless I feel like I need to. So just just because Kier and Nelika are in the same category does not mean that, you know, and Kier is more to the left. doesn't mean I want Kier more. It's just, just where I'm putting them, okay? Don't don't think too hard. Um, but yeah, Nel Nelika is going to go in A because if I got her, I would definitely use her and she's going to fill some utility that I don't have. So cool um we're gonna move right on to uh denial of focus vanille um extremely good breaker with really good fields and she's gonna go right there at the top um because she's gonna fit a lot of different teams she's gonna go with lightning um who i have um so we're gonna just leave her there um and that's exactly where i want her you know right there with ellis ferris um you know in a lot of ways better than ellis ferris and in a lot of ways ellis ferris is more niche so um, Gastronomist Quina, our very first C-tier unit. Um, earth damage, um, not water for some reason. Um, and nine is not like my favorite character, favorite game. And Quina is definitely not my favorite character from my not favorite game. Um, but at least he does something other than just being a dumpster bench warmer. So yeah, we're going to stick him in the C-tier because um, I don't really want him for anything else. Uh, Grand Couture Ayaka right there next to Barrett. Uh, doesn't really do anything well, honestly. That technically does some damage, but not in a useful or meaningful way. Um, and while I am kind of an Ayaka fan, um, I'm not really a fan of this particular unit. Um, and you know what? We one, one good turn deserves another Steiner. You know, right there in the D tier. Um, I, I feel like Steiner is such a missed opportunity. Um, and if I got one now, I would not be happy about it. Like, he's just, he's another one of those, like, attack damage dealing tanks. But, like, they took away all the cool things that Steiner could have been for a Neovisions unit. Like, giving multiple stack reflect and uh, helping VV out and missed opportunity, in my opinion. And I know he came from JP and they, they're not going to change him that much from what JP had. But, like, yeah, if I got one, I would not be, uh, not be all that thrilled. Uh, on the on the contrary, um, Lady Shantoto, who I do not have, um, you know, I'm, if, much like Nilika, I'm going to put her in the A tier. You know, she's got a, a 150 amp. She's good at what she does. Um, I would definitely use her if I had her. Um, and especially if I had some other supports that we could, you know, put a dark team together. I happen to have a lot of dark units. Um, but, uh, you know, we're missing some key, key components. Um, and having her would be a good one to have. Um, a lion is, uh, you know, I don't really care about the unit, uh, like the character. And I also like, I feel like damage, even though lion's a breaker with really good light, light in peril, I feel like light is kind of like not in a you know, great place right this moment. Um, you know, it could be better, definitely could be worse, but like, I feel like even, even on light teams, lion is just not that important. Um, and I, since I don't care about the character or like what she does in the sea, if I got one, meh, whatever. Um, on the contrary, here's another on the contrary, Aiko. So Aiko, I'm going to put in the B tier. So Aiko at least does wind fields and does pretty good damage at what she does. N not the best, but pretty good. Can do some good wind support. Not the best, but pretty good. Um, and fills a role that I wouldn't otherwise have if I got her right now. Um... You know, I do have Zidane, so she could go with Zidane. Um, and I'm missing, you know, some other really good wind damage dealers. Um, but I've got Lightning, you know, and Lightning... Um, I guess this would matter more for Clash of Wills wind units. But, uh, you know, Lightning can do some things for Clash of Wills wind units. And Aiko's not one of them. But Aiko does do fields. Um, and I've also got a thing for summoners. And so that's where little summoner Aiko is going to go. Um, right next to Aiko, though... Um, kind of funny. We're going to put Zaz. Um, you know, so Zaz um, would go really great with Vanille if I had them both. Um, and I do have Lightning, so it could go really well with them. Um, but as far as, like, you know, definitely needing him, I feel like he's not the most important. And I also don't really care about the character. Um, but he does have, like, uh, event weaponry that you could have upgraded and stuff. So, like, 
Um, if I got him, I wouldn't be upset about it. But like, I'm not using him in every fight right now. But maybe I just don't understand how to use him right. You know, I could I could be learning better and uh, maybe do better here. So anyway, we're gonna put him in the B tier for right now. Um, and uh, there you go. We're about halfway done, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we're we're moving right along. There's only there's only 24 units that I don't have that are readily available to anybody at any time, which is kind of neat. Um, as I was doing this list, I didn't really realize just how few Neos I don't have that I could get at any moment. Kind of neat. On to our next really, really big one, though, and that's Nora. Um, Nora's going to go in the S. Not not only is she, like, really good at what she does, yes, her rotation's a little wacky, but she does fields, and she does pretty good damage, um, and she does, like, really good support for Clash of Wills. You know, she's part of, like, that whole, like, modifier buff stacking situation. Um, and she does killers, so I really like her. I wish I had her. I threw a bunch of tickets on her banner trying to get her, and I just never got lucky. Um, she's also got that really great niche utility of the um, accuracy buff that nobody else really has at that level. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I would definitely not be upset if I had Ruin Explorer Nora. No, 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 Nora. Um, next is Seeds Blue Mage Quistus. Now, this is a character that I actually like as a character, um, and I like blue mages in general, um, even though she's not that great. But she does have some utility with fields that I would not be sad about, um, even though her own personal damage is kind of in the toilet. But she's got she's got some fields, you know. It's cool. I like I like characters with fields. Um, fields and utility and niche stuff is, is is a is a thing that I'm a fan of. So there you go. Um, next is Snoblinka. So. Um, the music you hear in the background right now is actually the the Earth Vision card um, music. So um, definitely gonna you know if I got a Snoblinka, I would be pretty pleased. You know she just got recently got some buffs. I would definitely use her. She's a good leader for Earth until we get something better. Um, and uh, yeah, but I'm not going to go going crazy over her. Like there are definitely better units that you could use. Um, but you know buffs are buffs, and she's she just got them. So I mean if we got her. Uh, I could definitely put her to good use. Um, just not like, you know, S tier. Just like maybe A tier. For, and again, this is not like A tier units. This is just like ranking like how upset I would be if I got them, you know. Um, yeah, so I would I would be fine with her. You know, I don't have her, so I could use her for like the Bialka trial or something like that. Um, there you go. Songstress Yuna, another unit that I am not a huge fan of. Like, I, I never played 10. I never played 10-2. Um, she's water and water's like not that great. Although water in JP just got a bunch of uh, buffs and stuff because of the new uh, anniversary leaders. Um, so that's kind of cool. But we don't have them yet. Um, but she does have like that target, single target castable water amp 100% thing, like the, the rolling amp. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, if we got her, we would definitely use her, just not all the time. Um, she's also got some killer buffs, I believe. Um, you know, utility is utility, right? Um, but there you go. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Veritas of the Frost. There you go. Um, yeah, definitely not a great unit. Um, really has a, has a really weird design and like like stat block and build and doesn't really do a whole lot of anything. Um, but it is a Veritas unit, so like I'm gonna give it a couple points. But you know, I don't really care. <laughs> don't don't really want this unit that bad. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that one. Um, or we'll put it in the C. You know, we'll put it in the C. Um, now the Vermilion, um, Vermilion class zero deuce, I'm going to put in the B. Um, I don't have a lot of the class zero units, um, the good ones anyways. I have Ace, but that's about it. Um, and I have a Kurosame too, but, um, but because I don't have them, um, I can't really do a whole lot with them. Um, but I feel like deuce and also Trey do provide some nice utility, um, at what they do. They do reasonable things. Good to have them. Um, we are missing Cater, of course, um, but um, you know I don't have Cater either. <laughs> so, um, but uh, if I picked up either one of those, I'd put them in the B. You know, it's it's like they're they're like I'd be okay with it. You know, it's fine. Uh, here we are, Void Mage Roka. I'm gonna put her in the S tier. Um, she does buff up you know several units that I like. Um, her leader skill has been changed. I don't. I um, she does the time magic stuff. She does damage. She does. You know, whatever. She does a lot of good stuff. Um, and if I had her, I would definitely put her to good use um, with my other units, especially if I could manage to get, like, an Ellis Ferris um, along the way, right? So we could have, like, a lot of good support for Dark, um, especially in Clash of Wills. 
Um, and she does morale stuff. Like, just, you know, got some global buffs. Uh, I'm not going crazy trying to get her. Um, obviously, I just, just actually just got back in the game today. Um, and um, haven't decided what I'm going to do as far as, like, pulling on anything yet. Because um, just trying to make sense of everything that I'm doing this week. Um, but if I happen to pick up a Roka, <laughs> I would not be upset about it. She would be, we'd be very excited. Um, contrast that with White Mage Creel, <laughs> who doesn't really do anything. Her kit's really like confused, right? She's very, she's a very confusing unit. She's like wind support and earth damage. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Although her sprite's really cute for both her White Mage form and her Berserker form. Um, I'm just going to leave her right there in the sea with everybody else. Let's go ahead and say it. She's going to go in the S tier. I tried to get her. Um, I, 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 I pulled on the card step up and I didn't get her at all. And I missed, I really regret not getting her, but I just couldn't, I couldn't justify the lapis and I didn't really have the lapis anyway. Um, but I do really wish I had Malphazy and if I had her, I would put her, I would be super excited and have her in the S tier. Um, for like units that I'd be excited for. Um, she does a lot of things that I would want. Um, she does the wind support in Clash of Wills. She does a field, um, does good damage. Who, who, who could complain, right? People who don't have her, that's who. And that brings us to our final unit that we don't have, um, and that's Young Hero Zack. Um, I'm gonna put Zack in the A tier. I've actually got a fairly nice collection of lightning units. Um, so like I've got Wondrous Flash Lightning, I've got Angeal. Yeah, I recently got Cloud Strife. Um, you know, if we could pick up a Nora uh, or a um, uh, Vanil, we could have nice, nice fields for lightning. Um, and Zach would just go well with it. So, like, if we had that situation come up where we got a Zach, you know, we could definitely make use of him. Um, he could go along with, you know, other units that we had. And uh, there you have it. So, it, of these 24 units that, uh, that I don't have, um, five ended up in the S tier, five ended up in the A tier. Um, seven ended up in the B tier and uh, four in the C and three in the D, which I think is not bad. I guess that means that like all told 17 out of 24 units, if I happen to get them, I'd be like reasonably happy about um, and would only be like annoyed slash upset about seven of them, which is, you know, I think that's a pretty good spread. I think it's a really good spread. Um, you tell me though, like if you happen to pull one of these units that you didn't have, would you rank them the same way? Did I... Did I, did I put them in an order of where you would want them as, as well, as far as, like, are you excited to get them? Um, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to talk about it. Um, now that I'm back in the game, I'm ready to start kind of getting back into my normal routine of playing and recording stuff, um, even if it's not necessarily Clash of Wills, because um, I'm, you know, really irritated with how Clash of Wills has been lately, uh, as I said in the other video. Um, but, um, yeah, I thought this would just be fun, kind of to set the stage for, like, going into some free pulls that we're probably going to be getting with compensation uh, from the Facebook issue. Um, and then also just like with weekly free stuff that we have going on, daily free stuff. Now that we're back in, into the game, we can do those. Um, just thought we need to kind of like look at, look at like what units I don't have and what I could theoretically get right now and how happy I would be. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little chat and uh, we'll see you in the next video uh, whenever that's going to be. Have a good night, guys.